today I'm going to create a all frequency power spectrum for a blade 2.0 micro XA5 and I'm going to do it by scanning all the frequencies from 70 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz and the first thing I tried was the RX power routine and we'll take the RX power routine and start it up and it errors so the RX power routine won't even accept the uh, the range that I asked it for it doesn't tell us what tell me why but it doesn't and so we'll instead uh, start up the SDR receive program and uh, so here we go with the SDR receive program and the SDR receive program is going to scan the full 594 592 gigabyte range or 5.92 gigabyte range and it's going to use 10k bins and so there's going to be 596,000 bins and it's going to scan every one of those frequencies all the 569,000 frequencies for a half a second each on each pass and it turns out that it takes about two minutes to do a pass and so um, I'll uh, I'll uh, turn this off and come back in about an hour and a half after it's had a chance to scan the uh, 592,000 channels uh, about 50 times. Well, okay, we're back now. I just stopped it after just over an hour and a half and uh, it did uh, ah, 48 passes well, that's close enough to the 50 now the thing is is what what, what will I do with it well I can try the, uh, the heat map program on it and we run the heat map program and let's see what it does here do, 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 do. <laughs> it's taking it a while thought it went faster than this well anyway it's, it's uh, okay there it goes so there's 59 59,630 columns and uh, 48 row, rows so it made 48 passes through the uh, 59,000 data set and we're sitting here waiting for something to happen <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah let me start up another program spectrums Okay. Start up Mystic Plot and uh, take a look at the scientific data set. Labeling. Okay, we're labeling over here. Ah. Oh great, it, it crashed. It says the maximum is uh, 65,000 uh, 
pixels and we got almost 10 times that many and so I'll open a, it up with mystic plot the uh, scientific data set that I wrote it has the same data in it and uh, we'll turn on the turn on the labels and we'll uh, widen it a little and so here here we have the full data set all uh, 296,000 points about and um, this is the power spectrum from 70 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz and we'll we'll go take a look at it a little bit okay so here here's around 100 megahertz that's the FM band and you can see all the FM band channels there and 125 130 these are the uh, a few blips from the uh, aircraft towers and uh, now here's something here at 140 megahertz 150 megahertz and uh, here's the weather channel at 164 62.4 megahertz so the weather channel is coming through quite nicely and the reason that I did the small bin size of 10 kilohertz is is if you make it much larger than that you lose everything and so it's silly to do scans at, at larger uh, bandwidths or larger bin widths because you don't see anything and okay so here we go and uh, interesting stuff Oh, well, that was a. There was, there's a t couple of TV channels down there, and let's uh, go cruising along here. Do 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 do. There's some strange stuff in here. Don't know quite what that is. 300 megahertz, and uh, we get up here to around 400 and 400 and. Uh, Okay, so here here's the amateur band at 400 megahertz, and then here's the general mobile service radio frequency. So you can see there's quite a bit of business on the mobile radio service frequencies. I don't know what these things are. They're over here at 154, 454 megahertz. That's kind of strange stuff. And uh, oh. Now we're in the into the TV station. So here's here's one channel. Um, here's another channel. These, these are the pilots for the TV station. So the, each TV station is six megahertz wide, and it has a pilot frequency on it. And so you see the pilot frequency down near the bottom of the band. And so there's some more TV stations, more TV more TV and up here at just around 600 just above 600 megahertz is the last of the TV station so that's that's where all the TV stations this is the last one it goes from 602 to 608 megahertz and so um, we'll go looking along a bit more here and you can see little bits and pieces of this and that going on not quite sure what those things are uh, we get up here to uh, 770 megahertz is a public service band and so here are all the channels on on the one public service band around 770 megahertz and we go cruising along and we get up here around 800 and uh, what is it 800 there it is so here here's the other uh, public service band a lot, a lot of action on this channel they're, they're mostly running P25 on this channel these channels up here at uh, 450 megahertz and uh, these blocks I assume are, are uh, cell phone and other type of communications 
but like here here's some strange stuff 900 megahertz some a little bit 952 and uh, from here on it, it's basically um, they're all using you know wide band transmission stuff and so you don't really see much except the the home stations and so um, but I found uh, down at the lower frequency see this this is at, at uh, 1 gigahertz 3 gigahertz 4, four 5 5 gigahertz and we can go running along at 5 gigahertz see, every, every so often you see a, a, a blip in them And so basically, there you have it. You've got the uh, the Blade RF XA5, and I've done a scan of all the frequencies that it can receive. And not only uh, did I did I get a scan, I did a scan at uh, 10 megahertz bin width, and so you can see absolutely every station within that range. And so that's it for today.